everybody, and welcome to TK's Fusion Saturday Slam Fest, episode 93, for November 11th, 2017. In the opening 1v1 bout of this weekend, someone is about to get their turkey stuffed with a sword or fangs. Devil Hunter Yoko is in dire need of a W, her last and only win coming at her former teammate Blood Rain's expense back in Season 1. Struggling is an understatement. It's put up or shut up permanently if she can't scale Godzilla's bulky hide. The King of Monsters has had a rough road this season, but he has trudged it with his head held high and really gave the One Punch Man a match he'll never forget. Can he rebound by licking up the Mono Mistress? Random stage, let us see right now. Hope you all enjoy! Alrighty, Godzilla, let's see if we can stack on Yoko for your second win of this season, I believe. Devil Hunter Yoko and Godzilla about to square off on the MVC2 airship stage. Let's get ready to kick butt engage. Here we go. All right, Yoko gets caught by a flame breath from Godzilla doing jumping flame breath and a tail shot. Knocks Yoko down as he tries to approach with the ash kick. Mixed missed a split kick as Godzilla trips her with his tail. Goes for some aerial flamethrowers to approach Yoko. That goes for a ground flamethrower, missed a tail shot. Goes for more aerial flamethrowers, trying to pin Yoko in the corner with his big ass tail. Advancing on her now with a blue flamethrower. Yoko shielding up with her fire rings. Pounds Godzilla away now. Godzilla with another tail jab. Knocks Yoko back. Aerial flame striking her back. Goes for the ground flames now. While catches Yoko right out of the air with the, with the flame breath. Now Godzilla is facing with the flame breath again. Yoko unable to do a thing. Godzilla advancing on her with the flames. Yoko just getting eaten alive. Tail shot. And a big blue flame thrower chipping through Yoko's defense. There she goes. Man, Godzilla barely breaking a sweat there on that jagged forehead in round one. Round two, Yoko, come on, come to life here. Swings her sword out, missed a jump kick there. Now tries to approach Godzilla, gets a nice sword shot right to that aerial throw. Now goes to the fire rings, Godzilla blocks that. And now Yoko gets another flipping throw right to the fire ring, breaks Godzilla. He's activated EX mode, big orange flamethrower strike, but Yoko blocks it with the fire ring shield. Ends up tripping her up with the tail shot instead. Now ends up going for another tail jab, knocks Yoko down. Yoko advancing with the jump kick, Godzilla trips her up with the tail again. And Yoko trying to fire back with the sword. Godzilla just swinging that tail massively, tripping up Yoko. Who goes for a firing barrage? Now a big blue flamethrower just eating Yoko's health bar alive in the corner. Now Yoko tried to escape the corner. Godzilla with the aerial tail shot. Now Yoko intercepts her with the aerial throw. Godzilla tripping up Yoko again with the tail sweep. Now firing barrage, pounding Godzilla back. Godzilla gets a grabbing throw to Yoko, right to that aerial flamethrower. Well, to the flamethrower on the ground. God, caught her right out of midair. And Godzilla manages to seal the deal, even though Yoko made him more harder in round two, but. Yoko still got wrecked and ravaged by the flames 2-0. And yay for the King of Monsters! He secures his second win of the season, I believe. I think his first match his first match win was against MJ, and now he's got one over Yoko. So yay! He put the final nail in the coffin for two job fathers. Yeah, I think MJ and Devil Hunter Yoko have had their day in the sun. I think they're going bye-bye now. Both of them. I just can't deal with this anymore. And Godzilla, I think I might have a new plan for him for next year. I think what I'm going to do is probably move him down to NXT to join up with Mothra. And I'll have a Team Godzilla there. Could be an interesting duo. I can't wait to see how their chemistry is. As for Devil Hunter Yoko, she's just simply going to go bye-bye. Maybe to Azur's roster or or his friend Matt's, I'm not sure yet. Because Neo had her in the past, he didn't care much for her either. So, And she's not working out again over here. I'm done with her. With that being said, let's get straight into single set number two without wasting any time. Be right back as I go and prepare it. I is Bax and ready for another solid single showdown. Next, we have Asura Blade's Goat, who really needs a pick-me-up after this free fall he's taken the whole season to Kiyosuke Natsume, Shinkazuma, and Alcott. Hopefully he'll successfully slam his sword through the cranium of Wonder Woman, or will she hogtie him with her golden lasso to end his season in all losses? The greatest of all time really needs to live up to his name now more than ever, so he can regain some credibility and head into season 3 with newfound vigor. As we go to a random stage, hope you all enjoy! Come on, go watch in Wonder Woman with your big-ass blade! Or will she tie him up permanently?
Move. Goat no, versus no, no, no. Wonder Woman on the descending ring stage. I really hope no one falls out of that ring. It'll probably be a long fall. <laughs> Engage, here we go. I see Ghost Search with a low sword strike. Get the jab through. Then a nice sword string. Wonder Woman trying to roll towards us. The last one grab. Now Goat trying to escape Wonder Woman's roll. Good job spacing her. And Goat spacing very well with that blade. Wonder Woman unable to get a hit through right now. Trying to high kick. Goat gets the last one grab slide there on Goat. Goat blocks the aerial one. Big baseball pounding Wonder Woman back. This is the solar tackle. Wonder Woman gets another last one grab slide. The Goat ends up missing the last one uppercut. And Goat hacks her down as she misses. Good job on Goat punishing her every mistake in round one. Round two, Wonder Woman, you better be more precise here. Goat goes for a low sword switch, trying to dive kick now. I got caught out of her lasso drill. Let's see how Goat trying to space, blocks the lasso, counterattacks with the sword slide, blocks another lasso grab, and Goat just spacing that roll beautifully. Baseball intercepts Wonder Woman. Goat trying to jump, blocks that stop, counters with a baseball on Wonder Woman. Lasso drill catches Goat there. Goat with a jumping sword barrage. I'll see Wonder Woman, Mr. Rouse, baseball slide to Wonder Woman, back. Lasso drill for Wonder Woman, ends up running smack into a goat's baseball really are in. Wow, goat didn't even really have to work too hard in round two either. Jeez. He completely just flattened and embarrassed Wonder Woman 2-0. And you don't see that very often. Hell of a bounce back win for goat here. Man, he really came back quick from those losses. He kept countering Wonder Woman's roll beautifully. Every time she rolled towards him, Jumped back just a little bit to get at her with his sword again. And he timed the baseball shots very well, too. Countered Wonder Woman at every turn, and man, I've never seen someone just truly dissect her like that. Goat just read her every move and stayed one step ahead. And this is the way to go, Goat. Hopefully in Season 3, your run will be just as promising, I hope. I mean, he finally rebounded from all those big losses. I'm happy for Goat. I knew he was tough, and I knew he could come back. Wonder Woman, well, you just weren't on your uh, prediction game today. She just wasn't on her spacing game either. Goat just beat her in both departments. Hopefully she'll come back next season and hopefully do better, maybe. I might have a new plan for her, we'll see. I might move her to doubles with somebody else. Maybe I'll revive Wonder Flash, I don't know. Or maybe I'll move her into 3v3 to t team with two other DCs, or hell, maybe 4v4, I don't know. I'll have to think about what I want to do with her right now. Well, sorry, singles didn't deliver a round three, but hey, doubles in the main event still have a shot here, so stay tuned as I prepare double set number one, BRB. Howdy, peoples! Now it's time to descend into doubles. First up is Team Red Earth's Leo and Hydron. Their whole run has been pretty decent so far, but today they'll have a chance to take that next proverbial step towards greener pastures with a major win over Team SD3's Kevin and Carly. These 16-bit warriors have only suffered one defeat in their 2v2 run so far, and that was the Team Dreamland back in Season 1. Can they continue taking out the trash with the lion and squid combo? Random stage, give us that glimpse. Hope you all enjoy! Leo and Hydron... You can certainly use a breakthrough major victory today. Here's hoping you can secure it over Kevin and Carly. Team Red Earth! Team SD3! On whatever the hell this stage is, I forgot the name of it. Engage, here we go! Kevin starts with a whirlwind kick, gets Leo and Hydron, but Unicorn summon miss from Carly. Now Kevin comes, Leo throws him. Hydron trying to get in Kevin's grill. Now he's trying to get the trident step, but Kevin knocks him out of it. Now Leo put out of the air by that cool energy. Oh, energy attack, one second by the Holy Ball. Flame tackle, Hydron knocked out of it. Now Kevin go for a pressure point to elevate his attack. Leo getting a sword strike behind Kevin. Holy Ball intercepting. Now Hydron trying to block Kevin and Carly's approach. Water spin knocking him away. Now Carly going for a magic shield. Trying to defend herself against magic attacks. Now Leo gets the sword stab through. Now oh, Ghoul summon, but Leo hacks through with the sword. Gets the sword stab through. Energy tackle falling. Hydron's water cyclone. Carly's down. Let's see another water cyclone on Kevin. And Leo with the... With the... With the... Handle of a sword takes Kevin out. Sheesh. I can't believe it. Red Earth secured the safety net in round one. <clears throat> and that could play an important role in them winning this set. Round two. Let's see if Kevin and Carly can fight back here. Pressure point for Kevin to start. Leo gets a low sword swipe through. Now goes for the energy tackle. Ends up hammering Carly Foam with that low sword swipe. Now Hydron lays a mini squids up. Unfortunately, all the miss. Now Leo go for a shield tackle. Gets knocked out of it by the Golem Summon. Oh boy, here we go. Multi target heal life from Carly. And it looks like Kevin's gonna go to the top of course. Let's see now Leo trying to block all the summons. Hydron blocks up high in the air. Carly going for a level 1 tech, it's a missing though. Let's see Leo getting green by the mace on Kevin's fist. Now Carly go for a magic shield. 
If they can get rid of Carly, their chances are really good here. Electric of Field shocks Kevin back and creates a sunroom for them. Porter should have Kevin back. And now Carly going for a yet another multi target heel light. I'm gonna F4 if she keeps doing that, because I'm getting tired of this plan. Leo going for a short speed. Now Kevin got knocked out of his whirlwind kick. Carly going for a level 3 tech attack. And she got knocked out of it. But unfortunately, Leo and Hydra are in a bad health predicament. It doesn't look like they're gonna win this one out. And Carly trying to hold the electrical field only grazing Kevin. Water cyclone as Kevin blocks. And so you Leo gets blocked on by the level 3 tech. There he goes. Now Carly knocks Hydra down with the base attack. And Holy Ball's gonna take him out. All that multi-target heal life spam has gotta go. Round three! Leo and Hydron, come on, fight through the bullshit and take this! As the whirlwind kickstart from Kevin, Hydron trying to get behind him, that might not be a bad idea. See how Hydron getting him with that flame tackle ends up flushing Kevin and Carly across the stage. Now Water Spin calling Leo shoulder tackle, out prioritizing Kevin. Water Cycle holding up the front. How's he flame tackle? Oh, oh, Leo got. Did Leo get the energy tackle off? I'm not sure. See how Hydron trying to go for a technical brush from the crowd boy. Kevin go for heal light now, that's not good. Oh, here we go. Oh, see Leo cutting him out of it. Uh, Hydron icing up one of them on the tentacle. Come on, Leo. He's got, if he can land another shoulder tackle, he might take Carly out. Let's see. Oh, Leo go for that sword spin. Oh, boy. Carly going up the baseball. Leo trying to leap behind him. Water spin nearly has him. Kevin going for heel light. If they could just take Carly out, they might have a shot. But see, Leo trying to hammer him. Energy tackle. There goes Carly. Kevin's the only one left. Can they beat him at half health? Was he freezing up Kevin? Critical shot from Hydron. Leo counterattacking. Kevin in werewolf form. Leo go with that tackle. Come on, Hydron. You gotta help him here. Oh, God. Kevin healing again. If he ends up winning this with the heal, I'm gonna stop. Let's see. Leo getting pounded on. Let's see. Water cycle freezing up Kevin. And Leo's gotta get out of that corner. Let's see. Water cycle freezing up Kevin again. Kevin out of werewolf form. Oh, boy. And Leo's down. This is not good. And now, oh, boy. No. Kevin in werewolf form again. And can Hydron score the win? Can he? Yes! The water cyclone will take Kevin out. Boy, thankfully, Hydron was well spaced away from Kevin and used the long range to seal him and the fallen Leo, their biggest major accomplishment of season two, 2-1 two, over Kevin and Carly. I cannot believe they did it. I told you, Leo and Hydron fight beautifully in every set they're in. Unfortunately, they kept losing out on the Ws, but this time, they got one, folks. They got one. Well deserved, too. They had to fight through a lot of heel light bullshit, too, to get that victory. I'm glad they pulled it off. I was hoping they would. Very proud of you, Leo and Hydron. Now you just gained some legitimacy going into Season 3. And I really hope you two could build on that one. The sky is definitely the limit. Ugh. And Kevin and Carly, ugh, they could just go away. After all that multi-target heel light spam, I'm breaking them up. That, that, that team is way too OP if they keep doing that. And that's going to be unfair for every other team that fights them. I'm just happy Leo and Hydron managed to conquer that. That was a jaw-dropping surprise and a pleasant one at that. Alrighty, folks. Gonna set up the next double set and get going here. I gotta try to save the rest of my voice, so be right back in a few, all. Alrighty, Roo. The dubs we shall continue to do. Team Common Riders, Ryuki and Drive, utterly annihilated the Nar retards a while ago, and would love nothing more than to score an even bigger victory over Asura Blades, Leon, and Lightning, who are seeking retribution from their earlier MDC assassins and Rage of the Dragon defeats. Will that road to redemption be closed off by the power of Yata? Random stage, drive us towards this conclusion. Hope you all enjoy. Never mind the, never mind the bad puns, this should be a very good battle. Team Common Riders, Team Asura Blade. On a brand new boxing ring stage I picked up. This should be interesting. Come on, Drive, hurry up and transform here. Gotta get down to business. Let's get ready to kick butt, engage, here we go. As the team keeps running with the big super fist, that's just crazy Leon. Oh, excuse me, Lightning. Now see Leon pairing off and Ryu, he gets away from flipping sword flash. Now Drive pounding away it, and Lightning knocks him to a great Ryu in the gap. As he Drive trying to speak to the specials, Ryu, he holds up the front. Now see how Lightning goes for a big sword up the truck flash. That's how I got L and L trying to sandwich Drive. Ryuki knocks back, and Ryuki trying to run against Hulk, that's what I'm talking Lightning. L and L trying to isolate Drive. Drive gets him with the explosive kick. Lightning take it out already. Oh, the Lightning's still alive. Now Drive going for a special. This is like Leon going for an arcing electric sword slash on Ryuki. 
catching him some. Now the hyperdrive special coming out. Oh, oh, hyperdrive special ends up hitting LNL pretty good here. Lightning taken out. Now Kamen Rider trying to double team for Leon in the corner. Man, I drill from Ryuki playing into him. My god, Kamen Rider just constantly double Leon. Good god. Man, poor Leon just got juggled to hell in round one. Round two, let's see if L and L can come out of the corner and fight back here. Oh, Ryuki immediately going for a special here. Going off the other side, he's got like a shield shot. Oh, big lightning shield doing some heavy damage. Not as far as the full health, the Kamen Rider's health. So we're up lightning, lightning holding up the front. Leon hanging his back of him. Cut to go soon some long range for his life. Kamen Rider's advancing on him though. As Ryuki and Drive trying to bring it back. As the light of Leon with a full short slide. Now this is lightning. Lightning deflected back, Kamen Rider trying to isolate him. Leon better get him with a long range short shot. Does so, has a foot then, Ryuki cutting him off. Oh, no big lightning field, there goes Drive. As a Ryuki's in trouble, L and L jump all over him with the sword strikes. And L and L secure the round two, and they will push it into our uh, uh, round three here. Let's see what happens. We'll take it. Oh man, Ryuki getting the super fist going on. Lightning jab him back. Now Leon getting juggled. Lightning is caught by Drive Smith, and Ryuki pairing off with Leon on the other side. Drill Special Lightning blocking that, trying to go back at Ryuki with the Sword Barrage. As he goes for a Sword Sweep, right in the Leon Sword Sweep. Robo Dragon out to Drive. Oh, I think that was Ryuki Dragon, I'm not sure. See how Drive Slide with the explosive fish. Lightning Shield, that's a prime Ryuki from oh, almost oh, about a third of his health. Robo Dragon coming out, he gets L and L here. And Ryuki then jungled by the Sword Strike. Man, Kamen Rider's bringing it back. Thus, Ryuki trying to shield up on Leon's Lightning Barrage from the air. Man, it's coming down to the wire. Of a big sword up cut from Lightning really takes Leon up with Lightning and Lightning. There's Leon with the sword up cut takes Drive out and Lightning takes out Ryuki with the sword up cut there. Good god! It came down to the very last hit in round three. But LNL managed to clinch with a nice epic clutch performance. 2-1. That was about as good a round three as you could hope for between these two teams. Damn they delivered in multiple spades. My voice literally gassed up. Jeez. Leon, Lightning, Drive Ryuki, this is a performance to be proud of. Whether it's a win or a loss, don't matter. Both teams coming out looking like a beast here. So, <laughs> excellent job, all four of you. Very proud. And I'm sure everybody watching is very proud of that one. Holy moly. Well, LNL finally rebounding from their losses, and they get a nice big win here on the Kamen Riders to end Season 2. So, props to them for getting that done. And Ryuki and Drive have still had a pretty good Season 2. Even though they dropped this one barely, <laughs> they still put up one monster of a fight against LNL. And that's all that needs to really be said, folks, as we head into our Episode 93 3v3 main event. I'll be right back as I set it up, folks. Hold on a few moments. This is it, Musionites! The episode 93 3v3 main event is ready to roar! Like a boss! Mega Man, Proto Man, and Bass will have to grapple with the Gundam's heavy arms Sand Rock and Shen Long. I can't emphasize how important spacing will be for the former, as long range attacks will keep the mechanical beasts away from them and avoid their dreaded sweep lock, which could deplete health and leave you helpless in a hurry. If they can somehow isolate the Gundams and keep them from approaching to altogether, I believe the Blue Bomber and his friends will survive and escape with another promising W. As we go to a random stage, hope you all enjoy! All robotic ruffian warfare here, folks. I can't tell who's gonna take it. The episode 93 3v3 main event is here, folks. Mega Man, Gundam's WF Rose War Ring, engaged, let's go. All right, base ends up getting grabbed, and now Mega Man's setting up an image clone. Proto Man fires off a beam, now goes for the shield barrage, catching all three Gundam right in the base's aerial. Now Mega Man jumps in with the fist, Proto Man going for another shield barrage. Mega Man with the aerial uppercut, looks like Sandrock dead already. Heavy arms and Shen Long in deep trouble as Proto Man goes for another shield barrage, launching both Gundams up in the air. Proto Man with the slide kick, and now Shen Long with the flamethrower. Might be too little, too late. Proto Man with the big beam blast to Shen Long, who pairs off with Mega Man, and Proto Man kicks him right in the booty. There he goes. And Team Mega Man off to a promising start here in round one. Round two, let's see if the Gundams can bring it back, force it to a three. All right, see Mega Man and Proto Man pairing off with one Gundam. Base getting double teamed by Shen Long and Heavy Arms in the other corner. 
Shenlong trying to fight off Proto Man and Mega Man. He's got the Junk Shield out now. Oh, Shenlong with the big flamethrower to all Mega Man team. And now Proto Man oh, gets knocked out of a shield barrage. I was like, Mega Man with the Ice Smash following a Astro Crush. And now oh, Shenlong coming back. Purple Beam from base. Ends up hammering the Gundams. Now the Gundams trying to advance on Mega Man and Proto Man and base. Sam Lo S Sandrock holds up the front. Shenlong holds it up the back with the flamethrower. Heavy Arms gunning Proto Man. There he goes. And base in trouble. Mega Man offed and base kind of knocked out of midair. That was strange. Well, there you have it, folks. The Gundams take round two, and we're going into our third consecutive round three. Can you believe it? Oh, we'll take it. Mega Man opens up with the uppercut, base leaping in. Now Shen Long's like heavy arms gets pounded back. Proto Man going for a big blast. Ends up hitting Sand Rock and Shen Long. He heavy arms are loading some missiles. Mega Man trying to counterattack. Now leaves in with the jump kick. Proto Man going in for a green beam. Ends up blasting the Gundams. Mega Man slammed down. And now base going in. Big lightning bolt from Mega Man following Proto Man's beam. And we got the bird chirping in the background. Don't mind it. Fire burst from, I think that was Heavy Arms Cannon. Now Proto Man unloading a beam. Mega Man kicking him back. Heavy Arms and Sand Rock barely hanging on here. And Heavy Arms down and Sand Rock blown to oblivion. Team Mega Man have done it, folks. They have grounded the Gundams into dust. 2-1 in the 3v3 main event. Let's go, Rush. We need to stop Dr. Wily. Well... You're off to a good start there, Mega Man. Sweeping the Gundams under the rug. Damn. That was a pretty back and forth main event. Way better than I expected it to be, too. I honestly thought the Gundams were going to come in and clean house, but... Like I say, when, when the Mega Man team gets lined up, they are deadly as dynamite. What is it, Ollie? Are you disagreeing with my opinion? <laughs> nah, I'm just playing with the bird. Yeah, I kept Ollie in here for the main event. Hey, gotta have something of a crowd in here, right? <laughs> Anyways, folks, hope you all enjoyed the 3v3 main event. Hey, it delivered, so we ended 93 on a high note. And yeah, sorry my voice isn't as loud as it normally is. I mean, I burned it out in the last few matches. And sorry for the sorry if my voice came in a bit low for the previous fights. I had to play with my sound settings again. Hopefully I come in louder and better now, so I'll try to make sure it stays that way for 94 and onward. I, I always have sound issues with my videos. I don't know why. It's like I'm going through so many headsets and I'm playing with certain sounds because with Zelda Classic, some vids are a little different. There's, you know, some use midis and others use waves, so I have to alter my sounds according to what they do, and it's weird. So, sorry if my sound settings are a bit inconsistent with some episodes. I'm trying to get a good balance here. Hopefully, I'll get it right, and hopefully we have it now. With that being said, folks, hope you all enjoyed episode 93 and all the matches I have brought to you with it. Stay tuned for episode 94 coming next weekend, where... We'll have even more badass brawls, I hope. Until then, I'll see you all later. Peace, forget out. Aww.